things that I just randomly balance my camera on is hysterical. But hi, how is life? I don't even know what I'm saying, but starting at about five o'clock today, my life is about to get really busy like this next week. Like, remember how last week was like a super lull week? I don't even know if I mentioned it, but yeah, like I had a like, I don't know, it's like a peaceful and nice week and I was trying to like enjoy it, but like I'm someone who constantly feels like I need to be doing something to be productive and even though I was, like it was hard knowing that I really wasn't doing as much and making as much money as I needed to. Um, so yeah, last week was like a eh, but that's the nature of being really unpredictable and I think like after looking over the numbers and everything today, I realized that overall, the way that everything works out is good and I seriously like I keep thinking that older me is telling me now to like stop worrying so much because there's so much greatness happening and I should just enjoy every step of the way because everything does keep changing but it's all good changes and it's all good where I'm at too so I just need to like enjoy it all as much as I can inspirational advice of the day anyway so this that's week i actually got booked for like a three-day photo shoot situation which is super cool so yeah i'm gonna be doing that for the next couple of days which is really awesome and then i have a really cool film that i'm part of i'll be filming on friday and then i also have a couple of parties over the weekend so it's going to be pretty busy which means that today up until i have to leave for the acting class later on tonight i am chilling like we're living the best life right now like I love so much about today so I try to export some edits because I'm pretty I'm so behind like right now I still haven't posted anything since like graduation which is sad like it's been a while um, but I do have it all edited down for the most part it's just a matter of like being able to export it my computer like doesn't want to do that right now because there's a lot on it and then it's just like taking forever it's like it should take three hours to export a 12 minute video that doesn't happen like no I have had a breakthrough recently with the web series. I reconfigured out what was going to happen because I wanted to make it like still on the lighthearted side but also like it like pretty emotional and really cool and finding that balance is a little bit difficult especially for me who's like either way too fluffy and cute or like way too dramatic and dark and like I go dramatic to dark scary easy so I was like okay cool like we're going to have to work on that so I did and I ended up scripting out until like a wee hour of the morning the other day like not wee wee hour of the morning but like I was up later than I should have been and I just like got all the outlines like reconfigured and then I also kind of got an idea of where the show's going and there's like the main plot is pretty solid and there's subplots which are really cool and I think like obviously it's so hard to write knowing that everything really depends on availability of the actors and when and where we're filming and what's that going to be like and like there's so much that goes into it and it's so scary because like I know how much work this is it's a lot of stress it's a lot of chaos and it's just a lot <laughs> but it's worthwhile and it's so worth doing and it's so good for everybody and I just like I, I want to be able to do this because I did start this so yeah I know like I've been trying to do this all summer and the truth is is every time I got like a little bit further I felt like I was pulling teeth it was so hard and like I wasn't really breaking into it the way that I wanted to and if anything's like not really working you should probably change your ways a little bit so I was like not worried that much about making it happen but now like it's kind of coming together like I'm just swimming around sometimes and I'm like whoa big idea and like it's writing itself at this point which I think is so cool because it's like a lot of the time when I'm writing I feel like it's it's not really me writing anymore it's a story writing itself and then I'm like the one making it happen you know it's a weird thing but yeah anyway that's that's what's happening so I should you know keep on going with where I'm going uh, film a quick self tape actually and get ready for another fun week and a lot of excitement and enjoy my little smoothie all right let's go it's after midnight um, I am leaving my acting class which was so much fun so great we too mm, thriving I love this this is so cool also behind me is a Disney building and that away past the dry cleaners it's Warner Brothers 
I'm in my place. I'm in my element. And now I get to try across the street in the best way possible. It's nice just no one's around. But there's always the occasional car coming from the freeway. So I'm like, how nicely can I walk across the street right now? I wrapped for today. Wow, it's actually windy out here. This is weird. Anyway, so um, that's that. Had uh, the whole skin thing. It's actually super cool to see how this works. So um, that's awesome. Got my goodies. You can't even see that. Of things to do to prep for tomorrow, the day after. And yeah, this is super fun. So now I'm gonna scrooge into the car. Ooh, a toasty in here. But it feels nice because it's so air conditioned. And I love a good air conditioning, but like, Something so satisfying about going back and forth between it being like really cold and really hot. Like I'm a big fan. Head on back and get some more work done. I actually had a lot of downtime today, which was perfect because while I was waiting for the skin to do the thing, I ended up memorizing a good old commercial and a monologue, which I've been trying to do. So it felt good to do that and get some things together and it was fun. So yay. shoot was really quick and simple today and then I was like you know what I need to do I need to figure out what's going on with my phone so I drove out to Santa Monica I got parking and I went to the Apple store to see what's wrong and they were like you can wait an hour and have them fully run it or yeah like they tried cleaning it out so we'll see honestly I didn't want to wait around an extra hour especially with my parking I was like you know what it's fine it's not that big of a deal I have things to do so the idea was, is I was just gonna walk around a little bit, come on back, and they proceeded to walk around the wrong, pro I can't even talk, the wrong parking stretcher for at least a half hour in heels, and I'm exhausted, and I'm just like, that was frustrating. Like, I genuinely thought I lost my car because I was in the wrong stretcher, but they all looked like here, and it was upsetting. So, I eventually found it. So happy, um, it's um, Friday, I think. Yeah, it's Friday. And I just picked up some gas and I'm about to head on out because I have a set, but it is very, very far. It is basically the distance between my hometown and Buffalo, which I've made that drive once and it was scary, but I survived it, it was a good time. So like it says it'll take like an hour, which is weird considering like an hour can mean just going to Hollywood. Like it's not, time and space is very relative in LA uh, with traffic. So I really don't know what to expect, but this will be a lot of fun. I'm actually pretty excited for the set. It's uh, actually kind of out in the middle of the desert. So I'm kind of scared to go on this road trip, but I'm also excited, so it'll be fun. So let's do this thing, let's go. There's so much open land. I can't, I can't. That set was actually super cool, super fun. I got full out makeup. Fake blood of the day was great and my face is like on another level of it. It's been messed with quite a bit this week, but I love it. It was such a great set and what's really cool is I actually got the opportunity to improvise an entire monologue several times over of like different versions to kind of really get to the root of the character and the root of the situation. So I can't really say too much about it, but I can say that this is slightly unheard of and I just really appreciate it when directors actually do let you do things like that because that's just like, like it's crazy, but it adds so much Like you want real and then like understanding the directing side and understanding the filmmaking side just in general and understanding the acting side, like being able to do that is so good. So yeah so i gotta keep my shirt which is cool <laughs> and i am actually going to head on over to pick up some food on the way back um also neighborhoods here are normal neighborhoods the houses are decently nice sized there's open land it's dry and literally 97 98 degrees outside um but the literal this is like how it's supposed to be it is a two-way like street in a neighborhood where cars are still parked on both sides of the streets and it's still a two-way street you know like usually it just turns into one i'm sorry i'm ranting about like driving um but the drive here was a lot of fun i actually haven't like i've driven for like hours just trying to get very very close by 
but luckily the traffic wasn't bad and to get here like after a certain point you're not really in LA traffic anymore because you're not in LA so it was really nice to just take a road trip peace out from the world and then a part of my entire scene was just me like being dead which was great because I was so cozy and it was weird because the room like really kind of reminded me of my brother's room back home so like I don't know and then the scene got super emotional because you know I was dead and then I was like trying not to cry while being dead because it'd make up my like it'd mess up my dead makeup like it was a mood okay like a serious mood but this was so fun and I'm so thankful that I have this opportunity and I'm really excited to see it and it's going to festivals and stuff hopefully so that's like so cool uh yeah so sun is going down kates are on the griddle i'm iconic and i'm going to go find places also i need a bathroom because i am like feeling pain and i'm not sure why i think it's because i'm hungry but i don't feel hungry but yeah set went well i have an early morning tomorrow so i'm glad that this wrapped quick enough so i could get back in time but i'm having fun okay like this is a mini vacation i love this this is great like i really genuinely like I don't know it's funny because like your perception of acting as a job when you're outside of it at least for me was that you're constantly like all your auditions or like your interviews and then like you're working when you actually put the gig and you're filming but the reality is quite different the reality that I'm realizing is that the work part is really the emails the self submissions the self tapes the talking to people the, like literally the the nit grittiness of crazy is like in that and then like the actual like filming is your vacation it's your enjoying the moment it's your weekend whatever you want to think of it as it's that like it's so good so we're chilling I'm such a fan of this like honestly like I feel so great being here just like chilling and like it's also so windy and quiet which is nice because all I hear is wind there's so much open land I'm sorry, but like, what is this? No one's on the road and there's open land. I am shook. So hi, update. I found a shopping plaza that has normal restaurants, normal stores, a literal normal mall and parking that is free and out in the open like a normal society. I'm sorry, but like, when I'm in LA so long, like, it's just so easy to kind of, like, not get this, like, how it's supposed to be, you know? Like, LA is, like, a weird city where, like, it's not like the rest of the world. So, and I love that. That's great. But, like, I get so excited when I see places like this because of, like, I don't know. It's so cool. Like, it just feels very, like, homey and nice. And I do feel like I'm on vacation today. It is the best. So... We're thriving, so I'm actually going to literally skip it all and go to the guitar store. I wanted to pick up dinner, but there's only like normal like like restaurant-y restaurants as much fun as that would be. I'm one, not going to spend that much money on food today, and two, literally alone, so no fun in that. And honestly, I wish I was here with my family because it would be so much more fun. But anyway, um, I picked up something I should probably mention more often and get a sponsorship hopefully because, you know, it's great. Yeah, my go-to quick on-the-go easy dinner when I am out and about, and it, it, it's sometimes lunch, it's sometimes both, it's just, it's a good time, is the veggie wrap with hummus from Trader Joe's because I trust this. This is always a good decision, so I decided to get one. It's light, but it also is pretty filling, and it's just, it's good, it's wholesome, it's healthy, it's like all of the above, so I figured I'd get that, so now I have food, and now I'm going to walk around the guitar center for a little bit and then head on back i'm actually waiting out traffic but also having fun because i'm in the area so like That was fun. I skipped it all and went to the guitar store. 
I had fun. I jammed out and I was like the only one there pretty much. So it was, it was fun scenes and it's windy. So where is this fucking before? We made it. It was a good time. I had a lot of fun. And now I'm going to do a fun little thing called get a donut because there's a Krispy Kreme here. And I honestly haven't had Krispy Kreme in so long. And I kind of want a donut. That was like an iconic childhood thing was like on the way back sometimes. We're kind of farther away. We pick up like a fun little something to enjoy on the way back. And even though I'm like driving and it's harder to eat when you're driving. I'm gonna have a good time and do this thing. So yeah, this is this is fun. I love being a normal human being and just like doing whatever the trap I want. Like this is fun. It's tomorrow's gonna to be a busier day, so I probably won't have time to do this sort of thing. So we're enjoying life. I um I got my donut. They were just having shells to have filled, and I was like, can I just have a wow, okay. So like, can I have a fresh shell not to fill? Just to have a fresh shell donut. And they're like, yeah, and they didn't have any deformed ones. So I was like, okay, cool. So I got that. I'm really thrilled, okay? I have, fun story. I used to love like watching, okay, this isn't staying. And my favorite thing was there's a step up and I remember looking and I'm only saying this for prosperity. So I remember, cause honestly I've like weirded out by aging. So I feel the need to do this now. But anyway, I remember there was like the step up and I loved looking and watching as the donuts were being made. And then they like closed all the Krispy Kremes in the area and I thought they were like the dinosaurs, okay? I thought they were gone forever. And then I got so excited years later when I go to Ohio to go to Cedar Point with my family and we found a literal Krispy Kreme and I was so excited. So now I'm like, I never get this. I really, I don't even get donuts anymore, honestly, but oh, oh, it's hot. Oh my gosh, it's that fresh, it's hot. I love this. Okay, so this is a treat yourself moment because I've had a cool day and I'm thriving. Look at this view. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm literally like afraid to hold it because it's, it's beautiful. It's so fluffy. I'm having a really good time. Okay. I know like it's usually just me sitting in a car at this point, but like I'm having a lot of fun with my life and I like, that even though I am alone doing these things, like I'm in essence doing what I wanna do. I am on the path to do it on levels that I've always dreamed of. And like, this is also so amazing to begin with. And like straight up, like, I know it's weird to have these moments where like, this is something that, you know, I'm definitely associated to like with my family, but even though it's just me, like I'm okay with that in a way because I'm able to just like, I don't know, enjoy kind of like being alone. I know this sounds kind of weird. Okay, so you kind of miss Belle. She was here two seconds ago, but I had the amazing morning party of the century today. It was so much fun. It was so sweet. And it's out in beautiful Malibu at the view. Mm, so good. So I've had a very peaceful, wonderful morning. I was there with Prince Adam slash the beast. Uh, so we had a pretty cool time. I'll insert some photos because you know, can't really film during these, but uh, you know I got a twirly dress video, so um, I'm also going to put that in there, and I'm also saying this so editing me knows what I'm talking about now. Uh, anyway, I do have a party a little bit later, but on the way here, all the way along the good old PCH, which I love driving here, like, so pretty. I, oh no, oh no, there's another person. Do I look like me now? Is that okay? We're good. Anyway, um, yeah, so I need to recheck my tires again, even though I filled up the air a little while ago, so I'm like kind of concerned. <laughs> Here we are, it's probably about three, and all I've really done today is I slept in, I had breakfast, I literally just took care of emails and a cop on YouTube, and I'm actually about to finish watching The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina season two because I have been kind of behind on that. So I was like, okay, I'll watch all that. And it's just so dark and crazy, but I'm kind of like here for it. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just like super entertaining, so. I did that. I do want to try to edit and really just try to export, but I was having exporting difficulties the last time I tried, which kind of sucks. Um, I also recently realized that I have not 
you know, been walking to campus every day. In fact, every single time that I am, I don't know, I'm starting to like get my sluggish mode when I'm not constantly driving around stressing out. And that's not good because something that I'd have really tried to like keep going for the past several years during school was just constantly moving and walking and like really feeling so healthy. And when I think back to that, I'm already realizing that I'm not there at all. Like me now, I'm kind of like either stressed out and driving all over town or I'm being a lazy potato and staying inside, not moving at all. And it's, it's pretty bad. Like I do not feel my best anymore. And I know what it takes to get to that, but I have to reestablish how to work that into my life now because I literally can't just like, rely on the fact that I'm watching classes every day because that's not true and I can't just set a schedule for health because like my like, work schedule is constantly changing around so I need to figure something out so <laughs> cool fun story is uh, there's actually one of the uh, fitness centers in my neighborhood ish I don't know if that's what you call this but happens to very very nicely have a bunch of free fitness classes every single week uh so because i am a resident of the area i get to go to those which is so cool because it's like weird because it's either like later in the afternoon or it's like super early in the morning but i was like you know what this week is like more chill so i want to be able to like schedule some of these in so Sounds fun because I'm not like someone who just wants to go to the gym and I do try to go to the pool every day but like even that's like I probably just get lazy and just in the hot tub the whole time which is fine but I was like I need to get something going so I decided to start up these classes and they have some cool dance classes going on this upcoming week so I signed up for a few of those and we'll see what happens. I would love to just have a little bit of a dance class and a little bit of yoga. And there's a couple that actually combine the two and I feel like that's just like a really nice thing to work into my week. So pretty excited about that. It's nice having a relative week schedule that's kind of forming and there's a nice little weekend but like I know how the parties go now. I know how my classes go for acting on Mondays and the workshop on Fridays. And it's nice actually sort of getting a routine in even though it's so unstructured. Like, there's very minimal structure and it's just enough to make me feel so good about what I'm doing. And then I'm also prepping for season two because yesterday I realized that, I don't know, I felt slightly uninspired. I'm like, why am I doing this? And the second I had that thought, literally like a moment after, I, for the rest of the day, just got all of these signs saying, you gotta do this. Like, this is important. It's more, it's like, it's bigger than me. It's not just me why I made something. It's an opportunity for everyone involved and it's a really really good thing and i think i'm scared of it but it's something worth doing and that's why it's been and it's a lot but it's worth it so i'm going to try to get that together nothing else that's my plan for today is to drink the rest of my coffee no one's surprised and also work on the series a little bit go for a little walk i do need to pick up more almond milk and then just enjoy my day